So today's discussion is about how one can calculate the potency of working or reference standard on a dried basis or on anhydrous basis or on as such basis. So before we move on to the calculation of the potency, let us first understand what is the need of the potency calculation. The potency, calcul the potency calculation or the potency of the standard is required to identify the actual quantity of the standard weight. How? Let us take the example. For example, you are quantifying the assay for a paracetamol tablet and you have weighed 100 mg of the paracetamol standard. But the potency of this paracetamol standard is happens to be, let us say, 98%. Though you have weighed 100 mg of the paracetamol standard, but if you correct the standard weight with the potency, the actual standard weight will become 98 mg. So rather than actual rather than 100 mg of this paracetamol standard weight, you are supposed to use now the corrected actual standard weight which is 98 mg. Isn't it? And that is the purpose of you know using the potency. And hence we are trying to understand how one can calculate the potency for the standard on dried or on anhydrous or maybe on as such basis. So this is the calculation formula to define the potency of a standard on dried basis. Percent assay and here the percent assay is uh, not uh, corrected for any kind of the water or the loss on drying. It is just the percent assay. Maybe percent assay you got by an HPLC analysis or maybe by potentiometric titration. So that percent assay value has to be taken divided by 100 minus loss on drying. LOD stands for the loss on drying and then multiply by 100%. So this is the calculation formula to calculate the potency of a given standard on dried basis. Let us take one example to understand this further. The percent assay is 99.0% and the loss on drying is let us say 1.0%. So you calculated the percent assay for your standard. You also calculated the loss on drying for your standard and now you are in the process to define the potency of the standard on a dried basis. So if you substitute the value into above calculation formula, you will find that the potency of the standard on dried basis is 100.0%. The very important note, the potency on a dried basis must be used in case the standard is hygroscopic and dried before use. So what is the purpose of drying a standard before use? Because it is highly hygroscopic in the nature and over a period of time during a storage condition that may absorb some amount of the water. So you are going to dry the substance at uh, maybe 105 degrees Celsius and then you are going to use that substance. In that case, you need to use the potency on dried basis. I hope you understand how to calculate the potency on dried basis and when the potency on dried basis is used. The second term is potency on anhydrous basis. And this is the calculation formula that is percent assay divided by 100 minus water content or it can be called as a moisture content also multiplied by 100. So this is a very simple calculation formula for potency on anhydrous basis. And let us understand this with the help of a very simple example where the percent assay is 99.0% and water content is 0.4%. So once you substitute the values into above calculation formula, you will find that the percent assay on dried on anhydrous basis. So please uh, read this term as a uh, anhydrous basis, my apology. And you will find that the percent, uh, sorry, the potency on anhydrous basis is 99.4%. So the potency on uh, an anhydrous basis must be used in case the standard is hygroscopic and water content is determined. When it has to be used, when your standard is highly hygroscopic in the nature and you are determining the water content by water content or the, the Card Fisher uh, method. 
that is the, the purpose of saying the anhydrous, right? You are just saying that what is the content of water and if you remove the water content, then the substance just becomes the anhydrous. But in case of loss on drying, you are not only considering the water loss, but that can be the loss happening because of the, the solvent present into substance or the loss because of the volatile impurities present into the substance. So anhydrous is only related to the water loss whereas uh, loss on drying is related to water loss plus residual solvent plus uh, uh, you know the the impurities which can uh, undergo vaporization so the loss on drying can be bigger than the the just water content i hope you now understand the how one can calculate the potency of the standard maybe based on to dried basis and the second one is on anhydrous basis let us now understand the third important term that is the potency on as such basis. So how one can calculate the potency on as such basis and here is the calculation formula. Percent assay on either dried basis or anhydrous basis into 100 minus uh, loss on drying or water content divided by 100. So this is the very simple calculation formula to define the potency of a standard on as such basis. See what is the meaning of as such basis that you are not going to uh, correct the assay for any kind of water present into a standard or any kind of uh, vaporized uh, impurities present into a sample. You are just going to say that whatever may be the water content, whatever may be the residual solvent present into a standard, irrespective of that, I am not going to correct the potency for any such content and then I say the potency just as it is or as such. Okay, so let us take an example. And here is the example that percent assay on dried basis is 99.5% and the loss on drying is 0.5%. So once you substitute the value into above calculation formula, you will come to a value of 99.0% as the potency on as such basis. So no, very important to note, the potency on as such basis can be used in case the standard is non-hygroscopic. Isn't it because you do not to dry it or you do not to evaluate the moisture content maybe by KF titration. You simply going to use the working standard or reference standard without determining its LOD or water content. In that case, you can use the potency on as such basis. So before I conclude this uh, video, let me introduce myself briefly. My name is Bhaskar Napte. I have more than 20 years of experience in the pharmaceutical industry. I worked for companies like Dr. Reddy's, Apotex, US Vitamin and Glenmark. I am the founder of Pharma Growth Hub and I am on the mission to help pharma professionals to boost their career growth by providing absolute clarity on various topics by creating an ecosystem where professional network helps each other to identify new opportunities. There is an opportunity to become a lifetime member of the Pharma Growth Hub with the never before offer. If you are interested, please check the details given in the description below and join the Pharma Growth Hub family today. Many pharma professionals have chosen Pharma Growth Hub as their career partner. Now it's your turn to take the action. And uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Bye-bye.